All right, pack your bags, Code Bros. We're going on a trip. Today we are going to launch into a very different little series of videos within Python here. And they're going to change for three big reasons. Number one, because I want to show you what you can make with what you've already learned. You have a lot of little pieces. We're going to put them together into something bigger over the next three videos. Uh, number two, so that we can introduce a few new concepts and sort of put them in context. And we'll come back later in future videos and explain them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a command line utility in Python. We're going to make a program that accepts some input and returns to us direction provided by the Google Maps API service. So if you're ready, well, let's take a look. All right, and a module that we're going to use to make this little program is called Google Maps. And now this is going to provide us the core functionality that the program is intended to have, which is to go and get the directions from the Google Maps service. So go ahead and use pip like I showed you in previous videos to install this Google Maps module, and we'll make use of it within the script. All right, so if we have obtained that Google Maps module, we can go ahead and start writing our little Python script. And we're just going to get the basic core feature in place in this video, which is to say go and get the directions. So the first thing we'll need to do is import that module. And, and we're going to use the syntax I showed you in those previous videos about importing things where all we're doing is importing Google Maps with a capital G and M, which is actually a class from that module. Now, we haven't spent time on those videos and classes yet. I told you we were going to introduce a few things that we'd fill the gaps in on later. And this is probably the biggest one of those. Google Maps is a class. It creates an object of a certain type, and that object has methods and properties which you can employ. So we go get that basic class, and we make an instance of that class called map service. And we're going to spend a tremendous amount of time and go into a decent amount of detail on instantiating classes later. But for now, map service it will probably be just about sufficient for you to understand that lets you access some functions of the Google Maps class which let you touch their servers. So map service is an instance that imported class. And we're going to make another variable called directions. And we'll use a method of that Google Maps class called directions. And we need to pass it two arguments, which is our point of origin and our destination. So we're going to give it the return leg of the Smokey and the Bandit, you know, beer run going back from Texarkana to Atlanta. So map service dot directions Texarkana to Atlanta. And then we're going to print the output here that we can get. We're going to print uh, rather just the directions. And I'll show you how we're doing that. And in order to do that, we're going to have to introduce one more new concept, which would be Python dictionaries. You'll take a look here for step and directions. We're going to iterate through the directions. That's familiar. And then we have in square brackets the string directions. Now, you might be tempted to think that we're looking at a list here. But when we subset lists using those square brackets, all we do is use position indexes. We're only putting integers in there. And here, we're putting in a string. A dictionary is a different type of uh, data structure in Python where you map keys onto values. And so that's a that's a key. And it, we're going to get the value associated with that key in that dictionary. So that is too fast and too loose and not sufficiently informative to count as teaching anything about dictionaries. But all we're doing is going to, into the directions and getting out each step in the directions. And then within each step of that direction, we're going to print the value associated with the key description HTML, which when we run this won't surprise you too much what comes out. So we'll get to classes later. We'll get to dictionaries later. But we'll get to the output for this program right now. Let's take a look. Alrighty, I popped open PowerShell. And we're going to change directories to the directory which hosts that file. And we're going to run Python on directions.py. All right, and you'll see the output here starts with head, and then we have B northeast. B. This is an HTML tag, and, and you'll notice, like, ah, look at this. Just that simply, with that little code and that little time, we've arrived at a place where we're able to pull down directions from the Google Maps API server. But they're not terribly clean, and this is not terribly useful. And 
reading things in this power cell context isn't all that easy on the eyes. So we've got some work ahead of us. So the steps we're going to take next are to go ahead and learn how to scrub out these HTML tags. We'll get to that in the next video. And then after that, we'll amend this script so that it can take input from the user to get directions to different places, not just the Smokey and the Bandit return trip. And also save the directions to a text file so that we can print them or reference them later, stuff like that. So. This is an exciting beginning to make something actually useful with the knowledge you've obtained in Python. Please stick around for the next couple of videos. We'll get this particular script finished and in a useful format. And for the videos which follow that, in which we will <laughs> fill in the gaps that we've created in your new knowledge just today. So again, this is Ed for my Bring Back. Please subscribe on YouTube and keep watching these things. We'll do our best to give you stuff worth watching.